assault. I better step in. Try and guess how I feel about bullets. I realize the irony in me saying this, but I hope you've learned not to hit people. Money's gonna be tight while the boss is in. We gotta earn on our own. That's what we're doing here, ain't it? Uh, don't get me wrong. We still got resources, but we gotta play more careful. To me, this is where we show what we can do. The management material. Smart man. I heard that. Why don't you sit this one out? Stronger. Hammerhead and Silvermane and Tombstone and all these other Yahoos can. You need some downtime. Who's there? Hey! Nothing. Think we got company. Checking it out. I must be seen. Get him! The boss wants Spider-Man's head! I'll shut your mouth permanent! Get up and back down! A thing of beauty! Tardy slips I'm gonna have to write. Outside the military. That needs to stay off the streets by any means necessary. Reinforcements! You know there's different types of reinforcing. You could just say great job a lot. Got Big Willie's guys and his weapons all wrapped up like Christmas morning. Well, you've got a red suit, so you're close enough to Santa Claus for me. Thanks.
Gotta move quick and quiet. Great patrolling, but I do have notes. They see me, the hostage is dead. When there was only one set of footprints, that's when I webbed you up. Oh, they're so cute when they're sleeping. How do you like me now? The police will take it from here. I know, but I remember when he was a punk kid in the box. Heads up! I see him! Nap time. Stop! Stop! 
more of them. No! If I was you, I'd run. Spider-Man, turns out we've busted four illegal firearms dealers within a three-block radius of that site. The gun running. Let's see what I can do to cut down the supply. Dang, looks like they called their buddies. Place is locked down, Captain. Actually, webbed down. And someone finally reported shots fired, so I've got officers inbound. Good work.
all units report of a possible narcotic sale. Available officers, move on Trunkville. Knocking the ever-loving stuffing out of dealers is my anti-drug. The police will take it from here. I don't shake hands much these days, but I gotta shake yours. Lights back. Move left. Thanks for all you do, Spider-Man. Hey, I know you got some money. Come on. Say cheese.
people, I always thought Spider-Man was a few geese short of a gaggle, but this confirms it. As if that atrocious white spider wasn't enough, I've had repeated sightings of him in a new outfit. Some sort of punk rock-inspired thing that makes sane people want to tear out their eyeballs with a rusty spoon. Now, I was around for the birth of punk rock, and I did not care for it then. It's a flagrant declaration of disrespect for authority, and if Spider-Man is going down that route... Oh, no, I just had a terrifying thought. What if this isn't the Spider-Man we know, but some sort of metal mohawk-wearing copycat? What if there's more than one? Jared, go to break. I need to lie down. Folks, you know... I've expressed my... Friend. Police... After much listener demand, today I am finally going to answer the question I have posed for many People years. And now for Spider listener Man. email. Threat. May or from menace, Queens, right? Yes, You're that's so right. You're so full of anger, it's and I wish time. you'd get help managing I'm taking it. a position for your health. And that position is... He's both! Sometimes he's a threatening menace, and sometimes he's a menacing threat! But come on! How can you menace someone without also being a threat? And, 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 and vice versa! And for those grammar Nazis among you who say I'm being redundant, it's called art! I'm a wordsmith! It's a rhetorical device! And if you don't like it, I'll tell you where you can shove that device. Okay, my intern is telling me it's time for my pills. We will be right back. I got an interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it? You night owls may have seen lights flickering out at the raft Supermax prison last night. Sadly, it was not because one of their inmates got the chair. No. Apparently, someone there hit on an idea I actually think has merit, which is making that recidivist criminal Electro pay for his room and board by powering the prison himself, saving taxpayers money. Not surprisingly, though, it turns out he hates actual work as much as he loves robbing and murdering. So they had to go back to the city's grid, which I'd imagine is why I still can't run my microwave and toaster at the same time without blowing a fuse. I've got a lot of people asking. New polls are in, Mayor Oz. Let's talk about a group of... Bring your children into the room. Now, some people... Now, friends, you know I'm always open. 
Get ready, folks. As I warned, friends, there's a caller on the line we all need to hear from. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, uh... uh... Police reports show a rash of break-ins recently. Friends, you know about the... I've expressed my... Con people I... Folks... Folks, you've heard me express... Have you ever been driving along? Folks, I have received... I'm getting emails from the rapidly shrinking yet still stubbornly obtuse contingent of Spider-Man fanboys and fangirls blithely insisting he did a wonderful thing, shutting down a drug lab run by a delightful fellow whose street name seems to be... Wait for it! Tombstone! Now, I'm glad he's... Imagine this. A stray shopping cart dents your car. You take it to the auto body shop, only that shop is a front for a drug lord called Tombstone, and he and Spider-Man have decided to have a power struggle at that precise moment. Sir, tell us the rest. I, I start to go in and I see Spider-Man fighting this m massive guy with fangs like a shark. That would be one Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone. Did it seem they were fighting over drug profits or merchandise? I understand there's talk of a new drug that turns its users into zombies. I don't know what it was about. I got my ass out of there. Sir, I understand you've been through a lot, but please refrain from using that kind of language. This is a family show. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I split, because pretty soon, the cops and firefighters are there. Ah, the real heroes. What a relief. I think we can all use a happy ending. I thought this was a family show. Jared, get rid of him! <laughs>